Compression is key when it comes to getting good audio, especially when you're talking about podcasting or dialogue in general. Now, if you don't know exactly what a compressor is or what it does, stick around. I will go over all of that and how to properly use it for your podcast. Let's do it. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to another video. I am Matt with iEdit Podcast, and today... I'm talking about compressors. Now, if you don't know what a compressor is, it's something that takes the highest peaks of your audio and the lowest valleys of your audio and kind of squishes them together so it's a little bit more uniform. So when you're listening to your podcast, when you when you get super quiet, you don't have to always have to be turning up the volume and then turning down the volume when it gets louder or those really loud moments aren't really as harsh to your ears because they're kind of compressed down a little bit. So when it comes to compressors, there are generally five parameters that are used. There's the threshold, the ratio, the attack, the release, and the makeup gain. So I will go over each one of those and kind of give you an idea of what they each do. So when we're talking about the threshold, that is the limit that you set for the compressor that anything that goes over that threshold is going to be affected by the compressor. So the lower you have your threshold, the more your audio is going to be compressed. Now, how drastically your audio is affected is where we get the ratio. Now, basically, the ratio is a division of the dynamic range of your audio. Now, what is dynamic range? It is basically the range between what you set your threshold at and the general peak of your audio. So let's give an example. Let's say you have your threshold set at negative 10 dB, you have your ratio at negative 3 dB, and your audio is peaking at around negative 4 dB. So you have a dynamic range of 6 dB where your threshold is at negative 10 dB, your highest peaks, your general peak is at about negative 4 dB. So you would take that dynamic range and divide it by the amount that we've set for our ratio, which is 3 to 1. So you take 6 dB, divide it by 3, which is 2. So now your new dynamic range is 2 dB. So instead of peaking at negative 4 dB, you take that threshold, negative 10, add 2 dB of dynamic range, so you're at about negative 8 dB. So you should be peaking at about negative 8 dB with that much compression. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that kind of makes the ratio a little bit easier to understand. It's basically how drastically the audio is affected. So the next parameters we have are attack and release, and I'll go over these together. So attack is basically how quickly the compressor is affecting the audio when it gets to that threshold, and release is how quickly it is going back to the normal audio after it is affected by the compressor. So both of these parameters have a set number of milliseconds, and it will tell you how quickly or how slowly you either go into the compressor or leave the compressor. Now, the last parameter that I want to talk about is makeup gain. So after all of this compression, after you cut everything down, your overall audio is going to be a little bit quieter. That's where the makeup gain comes in. You're making up all of the gain that you lost through compression. So you're kind of bringing back the original energy of the audio. You're bringing it back to whatever peak you would like, whatever you want your audio to be set at. So now that you understand compressors in and out, you understand them absolutely perfectly, I'm going to go over a few rule of thumb things that apply to podcasts or dialogue in general. Now, obviously, my disclaimer here is this is all relative. You should be looking at whatever audio you have in front of you and deal with that. These are just very generalized rules. So first of all, when it comes to ratio, you don't want to go too high with your ratio because the higher you go, the more you cut off and it kind of gets to sound really unnatural when you get above a certain ratio. Usually for dialogue, you want it to be at about three to one, maybe four to one. Um, you don't want to go really anything above four to one because like I said, it just sounds really wonky. It sounds really compressed. And your threshold is a similar thing to your ratio where you don't want to go too low with your threshold because eventually it's just going to sound really, really compressed and really unnatural. You want, with this compressor, you want to make your audio sound as natural as possible. So with a threshold, usually the general rule of thumb is about negative 10 dB, and you can kind of play off of that a few dB here and there. The attack and the release are kind of up to you. I tend to go a little bit of a quicker attack and a little bit slower of a release. But again, maybe you can kind of play around with those parameters, see exactly what they do. 
and see what works for your audio. And your makeup gain, you should be able to tell about how much dB you would want to bring back by using that little formula that we had earlier where you take your dynamic range, divide it by your ratio, and use that. All right, guys, I hope this video has helped you out. Today, we just covered single band compression, which is compression of your audio as a whole. There's also multi band compression, which is compressing each different frequency, which is really cool. You can really get specific with manipulating each one of those frequencies, but that's a little bit more complicated and it uses the same kind of principles as single band compression just on each one of those frequencies. If you have any other questions about compressors or anything in general, General, feel free to contact me anytime. All right, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm over at iEditPodcast. If you are interested in my editing services, you can visit iEditPodcast.com. All right, guys, see you next week.